The results are in on this edition of DoD TV. It's been a real treat to see this pack evolve into the final model with over 100 years of hunting knowledge combined between Mark, Terry, and myself. This pack is sure to define greatness. Let's jump into this thing and discover why it's the best deer hunting pack ever made. This episode of DoD TV is brought to you by the specially designed, agile, and durable Tenzing Hang Time Lumbar Day Pack. Go further, hunt longer, Tenzing. So welcome back to another special edition of DOD TV. This one's going to be gear review style. We're sitting on the 100% Wild podcast. I got Mark and Terry with me, and we're going to be going over the Tenzing Hangtime Lumbar Pack today. All right, guys, let's hear your thoughts. I know you've been a big proponent of going back to this style of pack. One word, finally. <laughs> yeah. And not only that, throwback. You know, I it mean, is. this is how we literally got our start many, many years ago. And uh, we're enamored with them and used them on a daily basis until we literally wore them out, wore the straps out, wore the zippers out in the old packs from yesteryear. Now, they've taken those ideas and incorporated it into this pack and a lot of the functions and uh, you know some of the features that we really ask for they've put in here so i'm anxious to give this thing a try you know strap a few clothes on and throw all my gear in here binos and bow hangers and every other thing i want to cram in there range finders and you might say well why are you doing a whole feature or a whole set of interviews on a pack you know a pack's a pack but in reality it's not when you're out there deer hunting and they really did design as the tag says the best deer hunting pack ever made and what i like about it is the rigidity of the overall mold because there's a there's an internal uh frame in there that keeps this thing from collapsing because if you recall all of our previous lumbars they'd always go down to nothing you know yeah. this thing's going to look like this 20 years from now yeah. so you can open that main cargo pocket put what you want in there and then you go pocket by pocket and they have designated what goes in each pocket which i really like yeah so it's it's got more or less a membrane to keep it in it in its normal shape that that no matter what you're stuffing in there it's it's going to stick to this shape i've always preferred a lumbar because it sits in the place of your body that you probably really doesn't get in the way right here right you know regardless of what you're doing it doesn't affect your mobility but yet with those side pockets you can still get to the stuff that you need to in a crunch but i really like where that pack sits because you feel like you could take a shot on the way into the stand it wouldn't affect you yeah. and you can have everything in there that you need I, i've always preferred a, a lumbar pack well and those side pockets that you mentioned those are crucial we asked for that to make sure because a lot of times when you get up in a tree you want to make sure that you're number one you're hooked in or you're tied off but immediately you're going to start putting some bow hangers in or something to hang the rest of your stuff up and it's it's nice to have those to where they come all the way around you I, that, that's what i like the length of these absolutely or if you're accessing an sd card on the way out or yes. batteries for a yeah. camera or flashlight all right so they the, what i do like about it everything's kind of labeled for you call pockets because a lot of times when they get a new pack i'm always like what, what is they, this for what they designed this for call pockets you got all kinds of stuff here i know but on the back end they got a cell phone pocket uh which is always nice to be able to get to your stuff quickly plus it, i believe they got it so that it's weatherproof which is nice and the cool part is if you hang this on the tree it's going to hold its shape and yes. you can get in there just like it's a, yes. a drawer or a dresser drawer mm -hmm. and it's easy to get into and access anything you might need you got a bow carrier clip yep be able to clip right in yep. take it in with you and really we ought to just go over it feature by feature channeled air-cooled back pad and shoulder straps very important, extremely important, because if you're walking any distance at all, the last thing you want to do is break a sweat on your back because it never seems to dry. Uh, and it's a sturdy hanging loop on the base and strap. That's nice. Both the strap and the base have that. It's got three interior game call slip pockets, which are nice, meaning your grunt tubes or maybe even a, a fawn bleat or your rangefinder fit in there as well. External Molly attachment points and webbing straps for extra gear. Ultra soft and quiet fabric that is also going to hold up, I might add. Two interior zippered pockets in the lid. Rigid EVA molded shell hold shape to hang open in tree stand. Chest and hip compression straps for custom fit. Specialty cell phone pocket, which is really, really handy. Premium oversized zippers, which is nice if you're wearing gloves, big heavy gloves. And two zippered hip pockets, which is really nice. Those are the things that I like the most about the pack. In reality, we got everything we asked for and a little bit more. It really is the best pack I've ever seen. Yes. It's dummy proof. Just what we need. Absolutely. <laughs> fits us perfect. All right. So that's the gear review and the brand new hang time lumbar from Tenzing. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. 
This episode of DoD TV is brought to you by the new Tenzing Voyager Day Pack. Go further, hunt longer, Tenzing.